Man, I always say HBO is the best at selling, promoting, building interest in a fight. And to a point, as is Golden Boy. So I have officially fallen into the trap and I'm under the marketing spell of Canelo versus Chavez Jr. Anyway, so I'm really excited for this fight. Julio is looking great. I mean, obviously this could be because of his involvement with Memo. But even more so, I think he has just fired up for this particular fight, this particular challenge against Canelo. So don't get me wrong, Canelo is a huge betting favorite, and I believe he should be. Canelo has stayed active, while Julio has not. Also, in Julio's last performances, he hasn't looked that good. Or at least not the, the young, like he did as a young prospect, Julio. But anyways, let's face it. Junior definitely has good genetics. His dad is arguably the most talented boxer to come out of Mexico. And although Julio did quit against Fanfara, he still has proven to have a very strong chin and for the most part always fights with his heart. And he does have a lot of power in his punches. Now just to compare this camp to the camp when he was training in his draws with Freddie Roach, I mean, you can just see the difference. Every time I see that, I feel sorry for Freddie, man, that he had to put up with that. But, uh, you know, some people don't like Freddie, some people do, but no question, Freddie is a really loyal guy if you're with him. And if you're not, he'll take every jab at you he can. So anyways, I know that Junior takes a lot of criticism, but when you look at it, few people that know him, it seems like anyways, including the past trainers that he has fired, very few of these people have bad things to say about him. Now, this could be because of the respect they have for his father, uh, but I think Julio's a good dude, man. He just, like I think I said in another video, he just, uh, he's probably a little spoiled, man. I mean, when your dad's that popular, it's just inevitable that you're going to be spoiled when everyone's looking up to your dad. Um, anyways, again, the odds are heavily in favor of Canelo. But we've seen time and time again that anything can happen in boxing. I mean, we all remember when Mares got knocked out. I think in this fight, Mars was actually like a 10 to 1 favorite. And he still got knocked out in the first round. So, as we all know, anything can happen in boxing. But we all have to give respect to Canelo. As far as I know, he has never missed weight. I mean, this includes even when he was completely drained by Mayweather and had to come in at 152 pounds. Plus, all those times he fought at 155, I mean, that had to be a huge sacrifice. But I think the last straw was in his fight against Liam when he had to come in at 154. I can just imagine Canelo in the back saying, that, you know, this is it. I don't care what my camp says, what De La Hoya says, I'm done with 154. I mean, the guy's just too big. His bone structure is just too big to be a fight at 154. So I think he's in, a, in the correct division, 160. Hopefully everything transfers up, his power, his durability. And it turns into a great fight. Both guys have to make, what is it, 164 and a half, which I think should be a great, uh, make for a really competitive fight. Anyways, just a quick video. I think HBO and Golden Boy so far are doing a great job of promoting this fight. I'm super pumped. I can't wait till we get closer to the fight to see what happens. But um, overall, I'm just hoping both guys come in at 100%. Both guys make weight, especially Julio. 
come in healthy and give the fans a great fight. Anyways, you guys take care. Have a great day.